past year. I decided to build this project as I discovered these cheaply available radiation monitor boards. Like as they stand they give you a nice clicking sound, like the recognizable sound you hear on movies and TV. They don't really do an awful lot. So I decided to up the ante a bit by connecting this board to a Raspberry Pi, feeding the data into InfluxDB and showing it with Grafana. But then of course it needed a fancy case, so I set up on this expedition to build a steampunk style Geiger counter case, including tubes and so everything you see here pretty much apart from the copper pipe is custom made so that includes the woodwork the electronics the Nixie tubes well not the Nixie tubes themselves the Nixie tubes are from eBay but the uh, steel plate that they're mounted on and all the uh, brass name plates are all custom made for this project my thinking behind the design of the thing was that I wanted to replicate the old style of showing radiation counts so I found these things called decatron tubes online This is a Raspberry Pi Zero in a custom case with a Pimeroni inky fat display on the front. Every day it will load a random um, motivational quote and you can also send it messages so you can say exactly what you want to display on the screen. It's quite a simple project, especially if you're just getting started with Raspberry Pis or Belena. I'll take you through it and let's see what we can do. So we have all the parts that we need right here. We've got our Raspberry Pi power supply, we've got a Raspberry Pi Zero WH, Pimeroni inky fat, SD card reader, and So now we have two completed devices. So now that the the, um, the cable's coming out the back and it's in a nice little case, it's perfect for placing on like a desk or a nightstand or anything like that. So that's it. Bridge installed on this computer. If you're doing this for the first time, you'll have to install Trezor Bridge. You can check out one, one of my other videos where I show how to do that. Uh, but that's it. So now we have the device named and it will work. We can um, get in and store all kinds of different funds. We can store Bitcoin and, and transact with Ethereum and all kinds of different uh, cryptocurrency assets and tokens. So hopefully you found this informative. That's uh, Everything seemed to be okay. So I was happy about that. Um, sometimes if you up, use too much heat or you're not careful when soldering these, you can damage uh, the board. So fortunately that didn't happen to me. So we can move on to the next step of just uh, putting it together with the case. The case has this part zero. Uh, and you'll also need the image, which I'll include a link to the description of this video. Video, I'll show you how to build your own Trezor hardware wallet out of a Raspberry Pi Zero. So this will behave just like the regular Trezor 1 or uh, Trezor Model T wallet. It uses the exact same software, which is open source. We just hit this far right button is confirm, and the more inner button is cancel. So I'll hit this to the far right to confirm that I agree to the terms and service. Then it says uh, we need to back up our key. I want to take my 8 inch telescope and I want to create a computerized device that allow me to input a particular celestial body, be it a planet, a star, or some other constellation. And I want to be able to tell it what to look at and have it automatically go there and automatically track it across the sky.
talk enclosures real quick because this is probably one of my favorite parts of completing a project or integrating everything together is putting the electronics into the enclosure. Now you can purchase enclosures online, but you're kind of limited to what's on the shelf, right? So what I like to do sometimes is make my own enclosures. So I'll mock it up in cardboard first using hot glue. And uh, then I can kind of see what materials I'm gonna need if I'm gonna use wooden panels for the sides and metal for the face. So I'll take a sheet of like eighth inch uh, aluminum, I'll score it on the table saw and then I'll just bend it, it makes a nice sharp bend. And if I'm left with an open spot, I'll use um, Bondo, which is uh, that stuff you use for um, automotive for filling cracks and holes and dents and stuff like that. Um, and just sand it after I'm done, then I'll paint it. So I, I mocked this up. Um, which is just going to house the monitor and the controls for the front panel. And the great thing about that is you can actually install the switches and buttons and I've installed the joystick just to see if uh, that's where I want to place them. Then you can disassemble this thing and actually trace it out on the metal and cut the metal to this size. So then you have an accurate representation of what you initially prototyped and you end up with this. All right, so here's the finished product. I've actually got wooden panels on the sides, like I said, and a metal panel for the front, and I've got these screws that actually hold in a plexiglass sheet, and that's gonna protect it from the kids, you know, banging on it and whatever, but I really wanted to make this look like uh, some kind of an arcade -y looking thing, because I want the kids to just come up and be like, oh, I wanna press all those buttons and play with the joystick, what does it do? We've got a Raspberry Pi, we're gonna have a camera, we have a joystick interface, we have a monitor, we have a lot of things plugged into the Raspberry Pi. We have to control the turret. We have to get data from the digital compass or the IMU, but there is quite a bit of software involved. So let's take a look at the electronics real quick and then we'll look at the software a little bit more in detail. Taking the position. So I have my current azimuth, that's the uh, IMU and my actual planet. That's the actual position of Saturn up in the sky. And it shows me my offset in azimuth. So I need to rotate negative 22 degrees to get to Saturn. So let's flip the switch and watch it go. Yes! It's working. Uh oh. oh. There we go, it found it. Okay. It's pointed at Saturn. Let's go ahead and switch over to the moon. <laughs> I think I can remove my painter's tape now. That is so cool. Jupiter? Where's Jupiter? It's gotta load the file. Finding Jupiter. Hmm. 